Hello everybody and welcome to yet another anime first look. So I actually found this anime by accident. Uh, and it looked interesting enough so I decided to get it. Um, funny thing is I actually found it the same way I found Gurren Lagann. I found them both by the main female character and I decided, no, oh, I'll Google it a bit more and I found it so I looked at it. Of course, I like this a lot less than Gurren Lagann, but whatever. So I had the first three episodes on my computer for a while and then I finally went out and got the rest of the series. And I'll be going over uh, the I'll be going over this off the first three episodes. How did it fare? Let's find out. So this time we got a sci-fi. So I was actually pretty excited. I, I like sci-fi. I, I I'm a good sci-fi fan, and I must say the first episode actually left me with a good impression. And uh, I think I think they do the sci-fi bit pretty well. I can't exactly tell what the plot is yet, but I can say that I'm interested. From what I can tell, there are these people called Dragonauts. And, um, they, they work with dragons. Yeah, dragons, freaking dragons. Um, you know, they bond with them, basically, I guess. Anyway, it opens itself to a lot of pretty cool fight scenes and some really interesting powers and such. Um, in a way, it reminds me of the bond with weapons and maestros from Soul Eater, even though I think Soul Eater is, like, a lot better, because, you know, I, I just like that idea better. I, I still think it's cool. I wish they explained the concept a bit more, but they might later on, and if not, there are other sci-fi that don't explain really anything either, and they have explained a little bit, so I can't really nitpick it too much. It is a negative, though, but oh well. There are a whole bunch of characters in this, so I'm not going to go over them all. There's like 12 or so, and they appear like all over the place. I'll just save time and talk about them mostly as a whole. Uh, so far from what I've seen, I'd say these characters are okay. They don't stick out as fantastic, but I can say they seem pretty realistic so far, and that's not always easy to do. The dialogue, for the most part, is alright. These characters do kind of fit into cliches and TV tropes, but I... I, I the, see, when the thing people don't realize is it's not exactly easy to create characters. It's very easier to judge them, someone for characters than it is to make them. So I, can, I don't really nitpick when they judge and when they get into a stereotype. I, I've just desensitized myself to, to, um, to uh, nitpicking over tropes. I really don't care. But for the characters, I don't think they're bad. I, I think they're, I think they're all right. I think they're pretty good. They help do the story quite well enough. Now, when I hear the music, I quite like it. Uh, I think it's pretty good, and it, and it fits the sci-fi tone. It does it does the job quite fine. It's entertaining to hear, and like I said, I like it. <clears throat> the animation is nice, and I like the style of the characters. I sometimes like to see like all the different kind of anime styles that, that can be made by different artists, and it's pretty cool. The designs are cool, and it's I'd say it's overall good. However, that CG... Eh, I've seen worse, but I can't really say it's any good. But I understand that it's drawn animation before computer animation. And uh, the models, the models look good, but they're, like, not textured. So that's, you know, eh. The thing is, in this, they use a lot of CG than, like, other animes. So I could say it gets a bit distracting. It's, it's, it's a negative. It definitely takes you out of the moments, but it's not too bad. The voice acting is quite alright, and it's pretty standard Funimation dub with the regular cast you'd expect. Nothing really, really good, but nothing really, really bad. It's pretty much in the middle. However, side note, I could not tell it was Colleen voicing Toa for a bit. She sounded a little different. But once I figured it out, I could really tell. So far, I can say that I'm actually kind of enjoying Dragon Out the Resonance. If you're an anime fan or a sci-fi fan, you, you might just like it. I have heard that it's gotten some bad reviews, people saying it's annoying and cliched and and stupid and just bad, but I guess they just have a much lower tolerance, because I read a few of them, and don't, ris don't listen to them, they're way too judgmental, and they're just full of bullshit. <laughs> they're just assholes, pretty much. I think it's got some great visuals, some interesting ideas, and some decent characters. I mean, how can you go wrong with freaking dragons? Well, you can, but... I don't know. Dragons are kind of like just a plus, so I liked it. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Also, make sure to check out my supporters, all that great stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, suckers.